So there is really messed up things occurring in Cuba right now. Head over to Twitter and type in the hashtag SOSCuba and you will see the disgusting things that are occurring over there. Cubans are simply protesting for their freedom and liberty against this global takeover that is occurring globally. Don't think that this isn't going to happen here. And anyone that is speaking up against this tyranny, they're being disappeared in the middle of the night, thrown into uh, disappearing vans, thrown into um, their jail towns, which are already being prepared here in the UK. They're being uh, killed in the streets. Uh, the tyrannical government police are forcing their way into homes and shooting and killing citizens. This is happening right now in Cuba. Let's go and take a look at what we have. <laughs> Anybody that um, speaks out against the tyranny and requests their own freedom um, will be thrown into a disappearing truck um, in the middle of the night, as you can see here. There's only so much I can show. I don't really want to start showing videos of dead bodies. Uh, but you get the gist of this video, um, you know, a young family um, just minding their own business, um, being broken into by a SWAT team, and, uh, you know, people are being shot. He was just been in the street now for three days asking for freedom and this is really important to say because the Cuban government is making fake news. So it's really important to say my Cubans start a protest in a really pacific way asking for freedom. And the government respond to them putting militaries and police in the street, shooting them, hitting them, killing them. And the only thing that they have to defend themselves is the social medias. And they even cut internet so they can show out what is happening inside there. So I have a really hole in my heart with this situation and I want to ask you help us help me to help the mothers that today doesn't know where is their sons the sons that doesn't know what is their fathers because it's a lot of people that just disappear it's a lot of kids that they just kill it's a lot of young people that they are killing they are recruiting teenagers in their house they take them and they are obligated to go out to fight with his own brothers and sisters in the street and this is, if they don't do it they go to jail Déjame hacerte una pregunta. Tengo 
varios amigos presos. Hay más de ciento tantos jóvenes presos en todo el país desde los hechos del domingo. Hubo alrededor de todo el país cientos de jóvenes heridos que enfrentaron a las autoridades armadas. Las autoridades estaban armadas. Todos los policías tenían armas. ¿Entiendes? Y los jóvenes desarmados haciendo protestas fueron golpeados. ¿Entiendes? Toda esa gente permanece desaparecido, permanece preso, le quieren echar un busto de años de preso, ¿entiendes? ¿Y qué pasó? Ya, nos callamos. Nos callamos. ¿Qué want government get help now from Venezuela with more militaries to continue killing my people? We are alone and no one say nothing, nothing no one say about my people. So help me to tell to my Cuban people that they are not alone. Help me, help us to share every news, to tell the rest of the world what is happening in Cuba, because it's the only thing that we have. My Cubans are still fighting there in front really strong. Even when they kill a lot of them, and they have nothing more than just this social media. So please help us to share everything. Help us to tell what is happening with Cuba right now. Please share the news, share this video. Please, this is really important, please. It's like no one's care. And this is not about politics. This is about humanity. ¿Entiendes? No lo quiero. Quiero que liberen a todos los hermanos que están presos. A todos, a los, a los raperos que están presos, a todos los jóvenes que conozco, hay médicos presos, hay una pila de gente que nunca han tenido un delito, están presos por manifestarse, por pedir libertad, por, querer, por decir que tienen hambre, hacer, porque estamos pasando hambre aquí, ¿entiendes? This is disgusting, this breaks my heart, these people are protesting for the freedom against the global tyranny that is happening now globally. This is a global takeover okay from i don't know what you want to call it satan it's demonic the demiurge whatever name the jinn whatever name you want i want to give this this is what it is it's taking over us and it's declaring war against us just because this is happening in cuba right now don't think that it's not going to happen here like i said here in the uk they are now erecting their prison towns Um, six of them approved and um, now uh, Boris Johnson has now mandated the mark of the beast and uh, I know it's not the actual mark itself it's just the uh, the passports for the mark the certification for the for the mark which basically is mandating the mark because to get these passports you need to take that mark and what happens when you don't follow that law and you fight for your freedom is what you see in front of your eyes right now. It's going to come here. So, you know, pray, pray for Cuba, pray for Cuba and share this, spread this information. I'm not asking you to just share my video because I want shares, but get, go onto Twitter and type in hashtag SOS Cuba and you will see it all. It's disgusting, man, dead bodies being carried across the streets and just things that I don't even want to put in this video because it's that disturbing. It makes me sick, but yeah. This is what's happening. This is where we're heading. <laughs> wow. Thanks for watching, guys.